Well, let's have a look at the Jamaica College starting lineup, a much different lineup to the one that played in the Manning Cup final last year. In fact, just two players who started on the bench on that day in today's lineup. They have Tawain Lynch, who will be in goal, Malachi Sterling, Renson Sayers Jr., JD Johnson, Dante Logan, Javon Mills, Dylan John, Jabari Howell, Amarley King, Thierry Garrick, and Giovanni Taylor. He is to be watched for sure. Most definitely, and they play the 4-3-3. But even so, Malachi Sterling at the back will offer a lot of stability. Yeah, for the Tivoli Gardens team, five members of the team that played in the Walker Cup final last year, starting here as well. Shakur Adair in goal, Deshaun Tate, Shane McIntosh, Dwayne Johnson, and that number 10, Daniel Johnson. And they also have Dave Campbell, Ryan O'Neill, Francis, Ramisha Roden, Shaquille Henry, Romain Spence, and Malachi Rose, their big number 10, Daniel Watson, to be watched for sure. Most certainly, he will definitely create a spark in the middle of the park. And they might line up in a 3-5-2 system, but certainly they morph, they morph and then play on the park. Let's have a look at the highlights in this one then. Jamaica College, the defending Manning Cup champions taking on Tivoli Gardens. The reigning Walker Cup champions, and in the first half, all Jamaica College. Giovanni Taylor, the exciting national under 15 player, but his shot was saved by Adair. And how about Amarley King sneaking in, but a weak effort in the final analysis. Garrick took a while to get his shot away, and King, with the follow up, his effort was blocked. But Jamaica College kept coming, kept pushing. John laying that one off, Taylor inside, John taking a couple of touches, allowing Adair to cover and make another save. Howell shot from just outside the 18-yard area, Jabari Howell, that came off the crossbar. That was the closest Jamaica College had been up to that point. They might have been thinking that we would go to the halftime break, all level, Tiffany Gardens with a rear shot towards the target. That was why this was a lovely pass from Daniel Watson. And they should have done better. Ball inside. Terry Carrick with the turn. Firing hard. And goalkeeper Adir had absolutely no chance. It was a ferocious finish. And Jamaica College went to the break with a one nil advantage. Second half, pretty much more of the same. Jamaica College attacking Giovanni Taylor with a chance. Another super save coming from goalkeeper Adair. Once again, just making himself big. His positioning brilliant. Corner kick. That one was headed away. Played back inside. And really good save again from close range. It was Carrick looking for his second king again. Providing or getting a save out of a deer. That was another one. And then the second goal came in the 80th minute. Japon Mills, the transfer from York Castle, getting his first Jamaica College goal. Getting his first Manning Cup goal. That meant a lot to him. That's how it would finish. Jamaica College 2, Tiffany Gardens nil. The defending champions start well at the National Stadium on the lights. Match statistics then, Jamaica College, 20 shots, Tivoli Gardens, 9 shots, 15 of those on target for JC. So you know that Shakur Adir had a lot of work to do, just 3 shots on target for Tivoli Gardens. 21 falls in the contest, 10 against Jamaica College, 11 against Tivoli Gardens, 3 yellow cards, 2 for Jamaica College, 1 for Tivoli Gardens, and then corners, 4 for Jamaica College, 1 for Tivoli, 9 saves made by the Tivoli Gardens goalkeeper Shakur Adair, just 3 saves by the Jamaica College goalkeeper um, Tawani Lynch, and I tell you what, none of those were difficult saves for Lynch. At the end of the first half, Jamaica College had a 58 percent worth of possession at the end of the contest it's gone up to 66 which means they were even more dominant in the second half the stat that matters most though is that jamaica college have beaten tivoli gardens by two goals to nil kimania sullivan is by pitch side 
Thank you, Chris. I'm joined by the man of the match, none other than the goalkeeper for Tivoli Gardens High, and he'll be presented with his token on behalf of Digicel by junior brand manager Kadeen Webley. I have to ask you, you made so many saves in this game, nonetheless two spectacular goals scored on you. How do you feel about that game, seeing that your performance was so good but you couldn't manage to get the win? It's poor for my defenders, you can see that. Tell him, um, tell him, tell him say, yo, help me, because I'm going to always help him. I'm going to show that tonight, but still, it's like, I'm going to go through them mind, I'm going to see that from there. So in terms of picking up your teammates and rallying the troops and coming back again, how soon do you think you guys can thread it back together and really come together and make a push to come the out of the The next training group? session. The next training session. Yeah, you seem very serious. Where does that come from? Is it from the coaching staff or just the desire for more? From my heart. Thank you. Yeah, the Tivoli Gardens goalie there. A very stellar performance. Um, two goals that were really hard to stop on his behalf, but a very heartfelt message there coming from the goalie. I'm here with Coach Da Costa. Coach, in the end it was 2-0. You showed some good signs out there despite the scoreline. Is that how you viewed that game? No, don't view that game that way, but such as, such as the game, who we'll score win the game, but we've got to come again at the next training session. In terms of what you could improve in that game, I heard in the halftime break you guys were focused on clogging the mid pitch so that Jamaica College wouldn't have, much, have as much time to really pick apart the back line. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Cool. So in terms of going forward, how much can you guys improve on this performance to really get into the next round and beyond? In terms of going forward, we'll take it from the next training session and from the next training session, we've got to advance the other one until we reach the game on Friday. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. All right, that's Coach, Assistant Coach Da Costa of Tivoli Gardens High. I'm joined now by winning coach of Jamaica College, Coach Davian Ferguson, a very Light smile there. Coach Ferguson, a 2 0 win. I know you're a man that strives for excellence, and you wouldn't have been particularly happy with that second half by your team. No, I'm contrary. I think I'm, I'm very happy with the performance. First game of the season is a long season. I um, really wanted to start on the front foot, start with a positive result. And I think the boys um, came out here today and they acquitted themselves well. What we had on the pitch today was a lot of 14, 15, and 16 years old. Um, coupled with about 4 or 5, 17, 18 years old. So I think overall it's a, it's a good look. We have some more players definitely to come into the fall. So I think for the first game it's a really, really good performance. Speak to me a little bit about your new look staff. Um, I've seen you in constant discussion with Coach Raymond Watson and others. Speak to me about how they have been supporting you and the adjustments you've made throughout the game as well. Uh, nothing changes. Um, we always collaborate, we always try to have um, a cooperation amongst ourselves. So I think um, Coach Stewart, um, Coach Taylor, Coach Watson, all of them, we just get the job done together. How do you move forward in this one? Are you aiming for the title as per usual? If you look after the game, we were actually preparing um, those who didn't play because we look far ahead. Um, we try to look to the deep end of the competition. So although we want a positive result, we always try to really prepare them for the deep end of the competition. Thank you, Coach. Good girl.